May 8, 1886 was the first time the world was introduced to a sweet brown elixir that has forged millions of relationships around the world. While whiskey fits a similar description, we're in fact talking about Coca-Cola, a deceptively lethal drink that's going to leave you toothless and diabetic if not consumed in moderation. For over 130 years, people have discovered numerous recipes for the product from Coke floats to jelly beans but a few more twisted minds have discovered more unconventional uses. Join us as we have a look at some unusual uses for Coca-Cola. Cleaning a toilet bowl. There are some out there who would argue that the toilet is the only place where Coca-Cola belongs. And if you're one of those people, you may just enjoy this unusual use of America's favorite beverage. No one really likes to clean their toilet, and I'm sure that most of you don't until the night that you have a party. All you have to do is make about a 12-ounce deposit, which is around a single can of your brown liquid, into that dirty toilet bowl the morning before your guests arrive. Just let it sit there for about an hour or so and then come back. While you're away, the phosphoric acids in the drink is going to begin to break down and loosen any of the stains and grime that have set in over a long period of time. Then when you return, all you have to do is give it a few flushes and your toilet bowl should look brand new. Doing the laundry. Have you ever gone out for a good, unhealthy meal and come back with a giant grease stain on your shirt? Well, if you have, you know that grease stains seem next to impossible to clean. That is, unless you use some really expensive and caustic detergent. Well, rather than contribute to your own death, take that to-go cup of coke in your hand and do some laundry with it. Much like the case of toilet bowl cleaner, the citric acid, carbonic acid, and phosphoric acids in the coke can help you break down those tough stains. The first step to it all is to pre-soak your stained piece of clothing in cold water before you wash it. Then, remove your clothing from the soak and pour a little bit of Coca-Cola on the grease stain. Your next step is to put it in your washer with your regular detergent, and then pour in the rest of your Coke. Use your normal wash and dry cycle and your favorite piece of clothing should come back stain free. Now if you happen to be one of the more rowdy types who often return home with blood on your clothing, it's also a great method for cleaning those type of stains as well. But rather than get into a fist fight, we would prefer you just share a Coke. You can use Coke to clean your hair. If your children have the tendency to stick gum in each other's hair, you may just want to listen up. Getting sticky things out of your hair can be just about as difficult as pulling teeth. While coke is usually the cause for pulling teeth, it can also be the solution for cleaning your hair. You see, coke is caustic enough to be used to break down sticky substances like gum, which will make it slightly easier to remove. While the removal will take some time, it's really a better alternative than cutting your hair off altogether. The acids in coke are also light enough to where it will not cause permanent damage to your hair. Though we don't really recommend that you use Coca-Cola as a long-term substitute for your regular shampoo, the next time that you're in a sticky situation, you certainly can use it to help you out. Pain Relief now, for those of you who don't know the history of Coca-Cola, it was invented by a pharmacist by the name of John Pemberton. Pemberton would soon be recruited to fight into the Civil War, where he was then severely wounded and left in chronic pain for the rest of his life. After the war, he sought to find a method of pain relief as an alternative to morphine, which was highly addictive. And after a few years of research, he stumbled into a concoction of coca leaves, cola nuts, and carbonated water. Pemberton and his partner found the mixture rather delicious, and that's when they decided to sell it off. The trace amounts of cocaine were just enough to help wean people off of their morphine addiction, and it also mitigated some of the pain that was involved. After a few decades, the new owners of the Coca-Cola company stopped using the coca leaves. However, doctors were one day able to find another use for the soft drink as a source of pain relief. In many Asian countries, the consumption of the persimmon plant caused widespread cases of a certain gastric complication, one in which the stomach and the intestines of the individual were obstructed by a large, indigestible object. Now for years, doctors were forced to perform invasive surgeries to remove the obstructions. 
That was until it was suggested that patients began drinking lightly caustic solvents before their procedures. The search would begin for a chemical combination that would not be harmful to the patient, but also corrosive enough to break down the obstructions. Little did they know that solution had already existed for over a hundred years. Doctors would begin to prescribe patients Coca-Cola in order to help with their problems, and in most cases the obstructions were completely dissolved or became small enough to pass on their own. Jellyfish Stings if you've ever watched that one episode of Friends, then you know of a notorious method for dealing with jellyfish stings. But not everyone has a friend that's going to be willing to waste their hard-earned urine on a jellyfish. And some people are just not comfortable with that kind of thing. But some people are. The best solution is to add a bottle of vinegar to your beach bag essentials along with your sunscreen and umbrellas. But for those of you who don't have vinegar in your bag, you may just have a Coca-Cola. When a jellyfish ends up stinging you, it releases an alkaline-heavy toxin into your skin, which then causes a severe burning sensation. In order to neutralize the alkaline in the sting, all you need to do is get a slightly acidic compound. The acids in your urine are usually strong enough to do the job, and the same goes for vinegar. However, the citric acid, carbonic acid, and phosphoric acid in Coca-Cola will also serve the same purpose. Oh, and as it turns out, you can also use it for other types of stings. Those like bees and wasps and mosquitoes. Fertilizer. As it turns out, Coca-Cola can increase the acidity in the soil, and therefore promote growth in plants that prefer such conditions. Azaleas and gardenias just happen to be some of those plants that prefer a slightly more acidic environment, and in addition to this, microorganisms in the soil often thrive off of a sugar-rich diet. And everyone knows that Coca-Cola has no shortage of sugar. So the next time that you're out in the garden, be sure to drink one for yourself and pour one out for your plant life homies. Pesticide. In 2004, it was reported that Indian farmers had been using Coca-Cola as a pesticide. This slight misnomer had the Coca-Cola company up in arms, as people began to think that they had been drinking bug poison for their entire lives. However, don't worry, you're not drinking Roundup. What the farmers actually meant to say is that the coke that they are spraying on their plants is promoting a natural method of pest control. It was found that the sugars in coke were actually attracting ants, which fed on the crop-eating larvae. When farmers began to notice this, they began to spray all of their crops with coke rather than traditional pesticide. The popularity of the method grew once the farmers noticed that it was a cheap alternative to industrial pesticide. A solution of a single bottle of coke, along with some water, was enough to cover an entire acre of land for just over a dollar. And for the equivalent amount of regular pesticides, a farmer could expect to pay somewhere around 10 times that price. You might be surprised to know that Coca-Cola actually makes a great rust remover. All you have to do is fill a container with a couple liters of coke and then place your rusted materials in the tub. Leave them soaking for a few hours or even overnight. While they soak, the carbonation and the acids in the coke are going to dissolve the metal oxides and break down the tarnish on the coins. Once you take them out, simply begin wiping them down to reveal your newly polished tools. Use coke to get rid of rats. Now for those mafiosos in the crowd that thought we weren't exactly speaking to you, while type 2 diabetes might take care of your rat problems in 45 to 64 years, it isn't the most effective way to carry out a hit. But for those of you who have a rodent problem, Coca-Cola might actually be your best method of murder. A lesser known fact about mice is that they're unable to expel gases at an effective rate. This method actually capitalizes on that very shortcoming. If you lay out a few trays of coke in dark corners and in cabinets, you're going to find yourself rodent-free within a few days. Rats love to consume the beverage because they enjoy the sugary taste, but also they're not able to handle that amount of carbonation. Now, humans and other animals will burp when they notice they have an excess amount of carbonation in their stomach. Mice, well, they'll just continue to swell and they're going to eventually die. You can also use this method to kill roaches. Just drill a hole in the cap of a two liter bottle of Coke and the roaches will climb in and be killed by the acids. This has been a look at some of the more unusual uses of Coca-Cola. While too much of anything is bad for you, a few Cokes every once in a while is not going to kill you. 
What are some of your favorite uses for coke? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Fire extinguisher. This unusual use should be used with caution though, because it's true that beer can be substituted for a fire extinguisher if you have no other option.